Hey guys, and welcome to Vitamin Y. So, yeah, this isn't at to my bad. I apologize to everybody. I got caught up in Pokemon. Pokemon swamped my life, and I apologize. I, I got out of class, I, I was gonna head home, but then everybody had Pokemon, and I had Pokemon, and we started battling, and then 12 became 1, and 1 became 2, and 2 became 3, and then 3 became 4, and 4 became fine it, it five it's just oh my god i so i apologize i really do i'm really sorry that uh i didn't get to do this live so uh today is um evo destiny so we're going to be trying this out hopefully i don't do too terribly and just you know uh make kakashi kyle look bad <laughs> but um he made some changes he when he put in the uh, the TG striker. I also put in the TG striker. We're probably going up against. Well, those all suck. Those will all be terrible for me to have to deal with. And uh, yeah, all right. So he's gonna get a vanity. Great. So I mean, we're probably going against Evil Swarm. So that's gonna suck, definitely. So hopefully I'll be able to pull out Terra before that hits the fan, but I seriously doubt it. You know, he gets set the vanity, and then when I try to go for you know a, a Terra incarnate when New Bell activates, he can just go vanity, ha ha ha. You know. So obviously we're going against a definitely a competitive deck with you know more. I mean, I'm not saying that this deck isn't competitive, but you know it's definitely like not up my top uh, you know alley of you know best decks and shit ton of background. Back row out the ass. Well, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate the limit reverse and summon the U bell. You know, because he's probably gonna activate vanity anyway. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction of doing anything. So I'm gonna summon terror and see what he does. Effect. If he chain, go ahead. Chain your vanity. I already know what you're gonna do. So go ahead. Play your vanity. Oh wow! He played vanity. <laughs> uh. All right. Well. Effect. Is that okay? So if he plays anything else, so pretty much, uh, it, he, he pretty much has to choose between vanity or one of his other cards. You know. So. Uh, I really don't mind him doing plays like that, so go ahead and drop malicious to the graveyard. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit him for 14, and hit him for 17. So uh, the choice is yours to activate anything to block me, like a mirror force or a deprison. Okay, no, no dice on that. So I'm gonna set this, and I'm gonna pass to you, sir. So if anything that you have, it's the there you go. Damn. Damn, you just threw away your vanities. You just say, okay, we're going against ninjas. So, uh, unless he has an Imperial custom, uh, you know, because that's going to go to the graveyard. So he got his little ninja guy. All right, so pot goes, vanity goes. There you go. So, there you go. Get rid of that, too. Thank you. <laughs> and now he can use all his back row and stuff. All right. I don't know what this is. Alright, so. Uh, he probably has a lot of the back row planned for me. Yay, I de drew both the Destiny heroes. That was probably my fault, but oh well. So, time to get set up. You know, get it like another Armageddon Knight. Or actually, you know what? Hello? That's cool. Not my cup of tea, but I can see how it would be a fine deck. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Sorry about that. I was playing Pokemon. You know, you know, you just get so absorbed into that game, you know? Alright, so... I could go for Doomlord and then D-draw him, 
but I feel like ar getting an Armageddon Knight and then dropping that Plague Spreader that I definitely need in the graveyard to start doing some more Synchro plays would definitely be the best. So, uh, uh, and you being, <laughs> I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh god to make mistakes I carry out, but I'll try my best. Alright, so, uh, I'm going to go after this guy, because of course there's going to be a uh, back row, so let's go ahead and get it over with, you know. I don't want to, like, summon and then get hit with, like, a torrental, so, uh. If you negate me on the tech, no, does he still get the effect? Uh, uh, give me, uh, Minion effect. I top of my mind, I do not know uh, what this effect is. Okay, so we're going. Oh, 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 no, no, no. We're transforming. Of course, we're transforming. You know, of course, we got to go with the art of transformation. So there we go, White Dragon Ninja. Of course, with the safe zone and etc. etc. All right. So of course, I'm not going to redeclare. So is that okay? Effect. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop you. So of course he probably has a safe zone, so we can probably assume that. So let's go ahead and C into who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Uh twelve. Okay. What's this attack? Twenty seven. Okay. Uh, I mean, the best choice would be to go for, uh, actually, the best choice would have went into, hold on, okay, at the end of the battle phase, this card is a card. no, it would not get its effect since it does at the end of of at the end of the battle phases this card is an attack or attack. That's a defense since it never uh, attacked. The attack was blocked, the attack was negated. The best choice you know what? Uh you know what? I don't wanna do that. Shit. But I gotta, I gotta go through the play. I already overlaid the card, so I'm just gonna go for my stroke and uh, uh my turn. You know, I should have went for uh, fuck, what's his name? Vulcan. Vulcan. You know, put a card on top, summon the plague spider, sink for six, bounce him, bounce him the hell away. Because I know he has a freaking safe zone face down, and he's playing on his view like, hey, you can't pop my strong trap, can't pop my safe zone, and like, you can't kill him, you know? And it's, it's pretty much going to be fairly annoying, you know? But if, uh, 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 I didn't put it in since I, nor Kakashi have it. You know, I felt that would kind of be unfair for me to use something that, you know, neither of us have, you know. Combined, we have these cards, you know. You know, I have the, uh, what is he, do wait, what is he doing? Hold on, I gotta cut. Uh, hold on, let me read. Each be sure if I want to return any control. Uh, return a number uh, equal to the number of ninja monsters, alright. Well, of course I'm gonna chain. Activate the call of hundred. Summon the Yubel. And then when this card leaves the field, destroy that target, so this will return to my hand. Yubel will be destroyed because of call of haunted and effect. So here we go with Terra Incarnate. So let's go ahead and summon Terra Incarnate. And hopefully that'll work. Yep. Alright, so we got a Terra Incarnate, so things might be okay. So he has 
that card's useless. That card's attached to that. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. Advantage. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm down. But maybe I can uh, do something to you know bounce back from the duel. Uh, definitely, this return from the different dimension is definitely going to be useful in plays. It's probably going to you know turn around the entire game for me. But first, I got to see what I'm going against. You know, this is probably some type of back row, like a D prison or something. So. Uh, I, I don't know. So, like I said, I apologize. I definitely apologize for those of you who wanted to... What's up? Yeah, the strike went away, and now I, I am partnered. Oh, and he quits! He quits! Oh, my God. Um, uh, should we do one more? I'm gonna do one more to apologize for, you know, not doing it live, so. Usually I would end it here, it's 11 minutes, but one more.